Club, President at AKCP, and today we're going to be maneuvering our transformer to the rear of our test data center. So it's a pretty substantial size. It's a two-ton transformer that's currently been in storage since it was delivered a week or so ago. We've now got the concrete base and our permits ready and we're ready to start installing the first fix of electrics. So we need to move the transformer from its current location to the rear of the facility where it's going to be by the service entrance of the main power. And some of you who've been following along with our videos will recall about 12 months ago, I did a tour in our previous test data center, which was a 250 kilowatt facility powered by a genset. And we were using that for the research and development of some innovative cooling systems and our own complete data center design in a modular way where you can easily expand the number of racks you want. And it takes a lot of the design work out of the data center where we've basically done the design for you. It's just a blueprint that you can just replicate in all of your facilities. So the small scale testing worked out really well, and now we're ready to take it to a large scale. So we've got a total of one megawatt going into this new facility. We've got 750 kilowatts of line power, plus a 250 kilowatt genset, and several data center halls where we're going to be showcasing how the AKCP solutions can be deployed depending on your own setup. So some people have hot tile or cold aisle containment, raised access floors, in row or perimeter coolers and fan walls. We're going to be able to show all of that in our new facility. So before we go and check out how the progress is going on the moving of the transformer and I show you the inside of our data center facility, let's take a look at a 3D view of what it is we're actually building here. So this is our main breaker panel. Um, this will be our main breaker for our uh, line feed that's coming in. And from here, it's going to be distributed out to several sub panels that we've got supplying different areas of the data center. So in addition to this panel here, here in the electrical room, we've got two other sub panels, which you can see around here. So one of these panels, um, this one will be um, feeding uh, to the data center hall and the bus bars that we've got. So rather than having individual breakers for each of the racks, as we had in our old test data center, we've got a main breaker here, which feeds a bus bar and uh, we'll be distributing the power to each of the racks with an overhead bus bar system. And at each one of the racks, we have their own individual breakers in the tap off boxes. In addition to the breaker panels we've got here, we're also expanding this power out to the neighboring building where we're also expanding there our production facility with a machine shop which has our new laser machine and so on which we're 
took a look at in another video. So from this electrical room area, if you follow me through here, we've got our data center hall. For one of them, um, currently in a state of construction, uh, we've marked out on the floor where the containment pod's going to be. Uh, we've marked out up on the wall here where the bus bar connections are going to be. Uh, we've got a glass scope of walling going all around here. A control room and conference center where you're going to be able to come and have demonstrations of the uh, live AKCP test data center in operation, showcasing all of our data center technology and our blueprint for how you should be building and operating your data center most efficiently. As I said earlier, we're going to be able to show different types of installations. Some people, they may already have an existing facility, which is using fan walls. So we've got um, over there, ready to be set up and ready for the fans to be installed, a fan wall. We will also then have in-row um, hot and cold out containment in two different pods and two separate rooms that we're going to have here. Um, and then in the neighboring room, we're also going to have a 20-foot shipping container where we'll be demonstrating a kind of modular mobile data center um, type design as well. So this is our progress so far. Um, it's getting closer to being finished now. It's been an ongoing project for around 12 months. Um, so the power now is going to be um, installed and we need to run the first fix of all of our water pipes for the cooling system. Um, we need to clean up, obviously, in here from the construction debris. Um, and then we'll be moving in our containment pods and we'll be installing um, the cooling systems and going operational as soon as we get power. So I'm going to be trying to do a video maybe once a week or once a month, at least, which shows you the updates that we're doing here and the progress as we go along, uh, what challenges we've come up against, how we solve those, and um, taking it through to completion. So it's really exciting, um, the expansion that we've got going on here. And I'm hoping that in another six to nine months, um, some of our AKCP customers, dealers, and distributors are going to be flying here into the Philippines to see this in operation and get an idea as to how you should be running your data center using AKCP solutions. Thank you.